Yes, and welcome back on the touchline with me, Bernardo Kumu. And it is time to get into our interviews, and we are pleased to have guests from the Homeless World Cup. Kenya did participate at this year's 19th edition of the Homeless World Cup, which was in Seoul, South Korea, and finished fifth. We are with them here on set. We'll be having two sessions of the same, divided into two. But of course, on this particular first one, I'm pleased to have Nancy Waweru, who is the program's director at Vijana Amani Pamoja, Karibu Sana Nancy, Asante. and Coach Evelyn Anyango, who was in charge of this particular team in Seoul, South Korea. She's also a sports liaison officer at Vijana Amani Pamoja, and goalkeeper Vera Adiambo. Karibu Sana Vera. Yes, and great to have you and especially talk about, I remember we had this particular conversation before, yeah. just after you had gone to, had come from Arusha during yeah, sure. the first edition of the Women's uh, Africa Cup of Nations, Homeless Africa Cup of Nations in yeah. Arusha. Mm -hmm. And that was like the fuel you looked forward to Seoul, South Korea. Did yeah. it live up to the expectation that you wanted and had uh, foreseen? Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, we were geared up for the CEO um, um, Homeless World Cup mm -hmm. uh, tournament and we scooped uh, position five all the way from uh, position 14. Mm -hmm. That was the previous ranking. Mm -hmm. So we are happy with, uh, with the ranking mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And again, for us, it was not only about playing mm -hmm. football, mm -hmm. but also winning um, on mm -hmm. the field mm -hmm. and also off the field. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, coach, uh, fifth place was was this the your target? Okay, it wasn't my target. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, uh, we were aiming higher uh -huh. than that, uh, but uh, there were better teams, uh -huh. and uh, we had to accept it. But now uh, we had to settle for the fifth position. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, and uh, Vera, uh, you had uh, a good tournament, right? Yeah. Um, you got your story out there. How was it for you? You know, um, getting on the getting to travel and to present Kenya in such a big tournament, probably for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was a nice exposure mm -hmm. and experience meeting several con players mm -hmm. from different countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was my first time, I mm -hmm. can say that. Mm -hmm. And I was proud of myself. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. I mean, a first time is always make one either want it more or get back to what they call drawing board. Yeah, okay. During the first time, mm -hmm. You have that desire and mm -hmm. urge to get more, mm -hmm. yeah, to go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coach, the results were coming in. Uh, Vizuri Sana, I remember the opening matches. Um, uh, you know, towards the end, it looked like uh, there was maybe a, a struggle, right? Yeah. The lean squad maybe played a role in that because you had a leaner squad than most of the countries. Why was it so? And it did impact the team's performance in any way? Uh, in a way, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we remained strong mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the girls had uh, that um, spirit of self-belief mm -hmm. and they kept on fighting and um, the teams kept on asking us, uh, mm -hmm. you are really strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, now because of self-belief, we mm -hmm. had to move on. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Lean Squad at some point, it affected us mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, you, you need to like keep on changing. Mm -hmm changing our players at least to re-energize mm -hmm. um, but uh, we kept on fighting mm -hmm. yeah yeah and maybe uh, what were some of the crucial matches that decided uh, decided the tournament for you ah uh, most especially Poland we were in a very tough group mm -hmm. yeah the, the second tire group uh, mm -hmm. which had eight teams mm -hmm. and this was Poland Romania and you can imagine uh, most of these teams mm -hmm. uh, were we realized that uh, they had camped, they mm -hmm. were in camp for mm -hmm. eight months. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine with us, we only like uh, less than a month to mm -hmm. prepare because mm -hmm. we are running up and down, uh, mm -hmm. trying to find resources at least to uh, sponsor a full squad mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately we had, we managed to uh, go with at least five. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I think preparation, mm -hmm. preparation mm -hmm. and uh, the number of uh, players mm -hmm. that we, we were supposed to go with uh -huh. kind of affected us mm -hmm. in one way or the mm -hmm. other. Yes, and uh, through uh, Vijana Mani Pamoj, of course, this the organization that works with the homeless, right? Yeah. How, how a challenge was it for you to pull together resources uh, adic and adequate mm -hmm. preparation for the team? Yeah, it was a challenge because um, we were supposed to go with 10, mm -hmm. uh, a squad of 10, that is um, eight players and two officials. Uh, we did try as much as possible to, you know, um, 
do uh, resource mobilization. Mm -hmm. We had supporters uh, like Women Win, also Homeless World Cup came in and uh, supported our travel. But then that was not uh, quite adequate. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried as much as possible also to look for um, local supporters, mm -hmm. uh, some other supporters which also we got. We also partnered with uh, Jersey to Africa. Mm -hmm. But again, um, it wasn't adequate to take a team of eight. Mm -hmm or rather a whole squad of 10. Mm -hmm. So we managed to take uh, five mm -hmm. players and like what coach uh, mm -hmm. said that we mm -hmm. actually uh, did, the girls did their level best. Mm -hmm. And we believe if we had the entire squad, mm -hmm. we would have um, scooped mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how maybe, how impactful was this particular, um, uh, the 2024 Homeless World Cup in relation to the, uh, your projects, Vijana Manik Pamoja mm -hmm. project? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us, uh, this is very special because as an organization, this is our very first time to take a team uh, to a homeless World Cup. Mm -hmm. And again, for us, uh, it's not only about uh, playing football mm -hmm. because we are running a project and a homeless World Cup, which is an African project. Mm -hmm. And we, Kenya, we are taking lead mm -hmm. as the regional Mm -hmm. uh, hub and the project mm -hmm. is on gender-based violence mm -hmm. uh, response mm -hmm. and also prevention mm -hmm. and these are the conversations that we also took them on a global platform uh, I had an opportunity to conduct a workshop mm -hmm. and have uh, conversations mm -hmm. on how best can we address mm -hmm. uh, gender-based uh, violence mm -hmm. um, on a global platform mm -hmm. yeah. I mean and uh, that was the participation maybe to coach how uh, important or um, relevant uh, did it change your perception as a coach and you took part in this particular championship at the Homeless World Cup how did it change your perception of, of, of homelessness? Uh, okay first and foremost um, the squad um, <coughs> due to uh, the interventions we conduct um, Due to the interventions we do conduct uh, in, the, uh, in our centers, the centers that we recruited, mm -hmm. um, we, we take them through uh, the sessions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. maybe uh, according to our belief as Africans, mm -hmm. we only think that only Africans are homeless. Mm -hmm. So when we went there, mm -hmm. we came across uh, even ex-convicts mm -hmm. uh, in some other teams. Mm -hmm. There were people who were really struggling with life. Mm -hmm. Some were even street kids. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just being rescued by uh, well-wishers uh, from their countries. So uh, it changed my perception in a way that uh, we, we, I, I just appreciate what we have mm -hmm. and make use of it to elevate mm -hmm. um, uh, whatever we have to, uh, to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also thought like uh, we can even do even much better mm -hmm. uh, depending on what we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. In addressing homelessness, Yeah, right? in addressing homelessness. Uh, and, and Vera, you know, um, your story is inspiring. You know, from um, Lela to, to Nairobi at six uh. years and here we are on the global stage. I mean, uh, what, 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 what would you tell, right now, what would you tell maybe a six-year-old when you were six years old and, like, you, you know, uh, it looked like it was, uh, you know, a real struggle back then. Yeah. But right now, through football, uh, things opening up, what would you tell yourself? Okay. Uh, it was a long journey, like she said in that story. I began playing when I was six years, that's 2010 from Lela, Lela village, then I came to Nairobi after them. Several problems, mom passed them, you know, blah, blah, one, two, mm -hmm. yeah. So I can just tell my six-year-old me, mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was uh -huh. a long journey. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, and also to maybe your guardian who took you in. Yeah. Asaya, I'm ako proud sana, see? Sana, uh -huh. yeah. My uncle, Benedict uh -huh. Kiage. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's the one who is behind my success and yeah. playing football. Uh -huh. I know he's proud of me. Uh -huh. Yeah, and also I wish that one day, one time, in terms of idea, one or the other. How, how will you attack him, say that? Now, by to like, me and my Jew, chase a ball, mm -hmm. come back, mm -hmm. give back to the community, mm -hmm. to the society, mm -hmm. and most of my family. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're also studying psychology. Yeah, uh -huh. tell us about that. Yeah. Okay, I'm a student at KC University, uh -huh. diploma in counseling psychology, uh -huh. one point two. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, it's a nice course. What made me to pursue that course is that when I was at some point uh -huh. in my life, I was traumatized. Uh -huh. Yeah, no one to talk to, and to me, I like sharing my story to people and I like advising others mm -hmm. so there's a time when I changed someone's life mm -hmm. through the power of tongue uh -huh. yeah so that made me 
to be a psychologist. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and so far, how, I mean, uh, and so far everything is great. What would you want now? How, could get, get, maybe you would like to go to the, uh, to the communities and help them out? Yeah. And why would you want to do that? Okay, people are struggling. The uh -huh. struggle is real. Uh -huh. yeah. We have, uh, as far as homelessness is concerned, uh -huh. we have GBV. Uh -huh. yeah, so just go to the society. Uh -huh. Uh, you talk to them, you guide, uh -huh. you counsel. Uh -huh. There are those who are going through drugs, mm -hmm. there are those who are traumatized, depressed, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so, just, so I'll use my course mm -hmm. as a weapon to help my community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, maybe Nancy, mm -hmm. um, you, when you see such stories trying to come out, you know, I call them success stories, you know, but though they're just mm -hmm. at the beginning, mm -hmm. how does this empower your, your, your programs? How, does, how d does it make you think of the programs that you're doing in the communities? Yeah, so we, we are thrilled um, just to hear what um, the power of sports, and mm -hmm. in this case, uh, football can do. And for us, uh, by us creating spaces that are um, safe and, of course, using uh, sports and in this case uh, football as a conduit uh, for social development mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are happy to see uh, the changes mm -hmm. uh, that that comes out uh, mm -hmm. from young people mm -hmm. and in this case when you're looking at um, Rainbow program the girls program mm -hmm. we are also happy that uh, the program is creating um, access Mm -hmm. uh, to have conversations mm -hmm. on life skills, sexual reproductive health, also access on um, livelihood, mm -hmm. and also access for mental health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and maybe coach, how how did you find it? How powerful was football in advancing the message of yeah, homelessness, especially um, at that particular big stage in, in in at the homeless World Cup in Seoul? when you know over 50 countries were present and you also had were there with, with with your own story you know how powerful was football at that stage oh, the best experience and very powerful on my side wow. is uh, learning from others mm -hmm. um uh, because as i earlier told you uh, they are coming also from their own humble backgrounds mm -hmm. so in a way when we were socializing mm -hmm. i i got to learn a lot from them mm -hmm. Uh, and I borrowed some leaves from them mm -hmm. uh, because they also, yes, they are struggling, but in a way, when I look at myself, I'm kind of um, privileged. Mm -hmm. So um, it was just upon me to like, make use of uh, whatever leaves uh, I borrowed from them to at least to impact my life as well, uh, directly and indirectly, because I'm working uh, with kids in the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever information I got there, like uh, using sports to empower them, using sports to socialize uh, mm -hmm. with uh, different people from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, in a way, it's going to uh, help me, and in a way, it's going to impact their lives mm -hmm. directly and indirectly. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. and maybe for Vera now that um, you're, you're on, a, on, on football career and everything is looking uh, promising, right? Well, well, do you identify na zile challenges sambazo labda girls? Uh, Opitia Mtaani, and what would be your, how would you carry them along to just like do wafanya vile umefanya so far? Okay, uh, challenges are many in mm -hmm. our society, mostly in Madari, mm -hmm. I come from Madari, mm -hmm. and I also assist in coaching the girls, my former team, mm -hmm. um, their coach. Mm -hmm. So the problem we normally face early marriages, Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like after Maza from four, like you have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. You are a footballer. I want a team in your as a join. Mm -hmm. So, Napata, like Madam Wengi, they end up being married. Mm -hmm. Also, early pregnancy, which is a major, major, major problem mm -hmm. in Madari. Mm -hmm. So, what I can advise my fellow girls mm -hmm. in the Madari be focused. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have a goal, and ever desire to do something, mm -hmm. go for it. Mm -hmm. There's time for everything. Time mm -hmm. will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, usidanganyo mm -hmm. na watu. Oh, sidi ya beautiful. Sidi ya bolaita kupeleka mbali no. Yeah. But that happens. Mtu akiwa mchanga. So yeah. direction na 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 advice na fakuto wapi. Okay. Advice inanza na wewe. Uh -huh. Like we okay, amua ku change. The change inanza kwa wewe. We ndo nanza change kwa kila kitu. We mm -hmm. ndo advice, mm -hmm. basta kusikia. Mm -hmm. no, no? mm -hmm. So the change inanza kwa mtu mwenyewe. Yeah, so advice kuna watu wengi, kuna safe spaces. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, just go to someone, talk to mm -hmm. mepitia. Mnaza kuja kwangu. Mifia uh -huh. nimepitia the same journey. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ya mkuje kwangu mnieleze uh -huh. nimefanya aje uh -huh. mbona uh -huh. ndio hata unasema uwezi balance ball na masomo uh -huh. I'm at the university uh -huh. Uh -huh. and also playing football uh -huh. is a bit too ni mindset uh -huh. everything is all about mindset is it, yeah. is it that easy have you been able to create maybe vijana amani pamoja spaces for uh, the challenges that Vera is talking about absolutely we have uh, many stories like uh, similar to Vera's um, on an annual basis, mm -hmm. we work with uh, close to 10,000 youth. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say almost 50% um, or 55% are mm -hmm. uh, young women. Mm -hmm. So we provide uh, spaces and have conversations on issues that are key to them. And what we do mostly is we work with mm -hmm. um, people who or coaches who can mm -hmm. actually identify. Mm -hmm. The participants can identify themselves mm -hmm. with the coaches mm -hmm. and they spark vital conversation on issues that are affecting young mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. um, like what Vera has said, mm -hmm. issues to do with um, violence, mm -hmm. violence against women, issues to do with um, early pregnancy mm -hmm. and also issues to do with um, HIV, why is it that a young woman is um, more predisposed to mm -hmm. HIV infection mm -hmm. as compared to um, Men, yeah. male, male mm -hmm. counterpart, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and maybe mm -hmm. have the policy makers, have your programs outpaced the policy makers or there are mm -hmm. gaps in, in, in formulating policy that make enhance your work? Yeah, uh, first I want to applaud the government uh, for the campaign, the national campaign of um, triple threat to end um, mm -hmm. triple threat and this mm -hmm. we are talking about um, mm -hmm. ending uh, gender-based violence mm -hmm. at a national level mm -hmm. and also um, uh, putting a stop to early pregnancy and also uh, mm -hmm. HIV infections. So I'll say that our um, most of our programs mm -hmm. they are in tandem with, um, with the triple campaign mm -hmm. and again we also have um, various policies like mm -hmm. uh, Sexual Offence Act, mm -hmm. uh, a policy on domestic violence. Mm -hmm. But then um, I would ask the government to be proactive mm -hmm. in uh, the implementation phase mm -hmm. and to call upon non-staters, mm -hmm. non-state and also state, state uh, actors, mm -hmm. state actors mm -hmm. um, and other stakeholders, you know, to come on board and uh, to come mm -hmm. on board and uh, work together, work mm -hmm. collectively mm -hmm. to put an end to mm -hmm. um, the three yes. uh, threats and also engage mm -hmm. grassroots organizations yes. uh, like us at a local level. Yes. yes. And maybe as we wind up, Coach, uh, what next now after the performance of this particular team? I know you also uh, coach a team in the, in, in the communities. What, how powerful now do you feel like it has elevated your mind and you're, you're raring <laughs> to go? Okay, uh, looking forward to our next African Women's Cup, uh -huh. uh, whereas we are going to host uh -huh. uh, Svijana uh -huh. Pamoja, uh -huh. Team Kenya. Um, we are looking up to a new selection. Uh -huh. We need to recruit new beneficiaries. Uh -huh. uh, they've done their part. Uh -huh. We still have more girls uh, within the safe spaces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we're also looking forward to recruit, uh -huh. or rather, uh, uh, look on players who can participate in mm -hmm. Oslo because mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. as uh, earlier Nancy said, it's an mm -hmm. annual event. Mm -hmm. So uh, next year we are looking forward to African Women's Cup. We are going to recruit uh, new players who are going to participate and gain experience mm -hmm. from there mm -hmm. and learn a lot from uh, different people mm -hmm. and also from uh, in also mm -hmm. in o o Oslo. Oslo, yes, in Oslo. Oslo. <laughs> Oslo. It, 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 yeah, it in Oslo, Norway. Yeah. O o yes, and uh, Vera. Your next thing now, football, maybe uh, doing uh, psychology, going to study abroad as well and playing football. Yeah. Maybe you now need to get to uh, Kenya Police Bullet FC, maybe play. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, my desire is to study abroad, uh -huh. like I said in that, my story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's my desire, that's my target, uh -huh. yeah, to study abroad and also football and and in and football and uh -huh. education. Uh -huh. That's my desire, that's my greatest desire. Yes, yeah. yes and, 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 and may it be achieved. Thank you so much, Vera, the uh -huh. keeper for the Kenya women's team at the Homeless World Cup, they did finish fifth, and also Evelyn Anyango, who was in charge the particular team as the coach and this particular project they work in tandem with um, 
partners like Vijana Amani Pamoja and Nancy Waweru, the program director. Santeni yeah. Sana Thank for you. gracing the touch. Once yeah. again, Karibuni, and we yeah. wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah. remember, in the next session of the interview, also talking to three other players from this particular team, and that's Celine, Jirinan, and Esther Olo, who will be up next on the touchline. So stay with us. Ni Jumamosi njema kabisa ya tarehe 28 ikiwa nafuatana unyo unyo utadhani wana mgambo wale lakini atakuwa na tabasamu ya mwisho kitabasamu tu kwa ishara ya fair play ile Amfri Ochieoti na Sofa Park ambao wanapiga mechi yao ya nne siku ya leo Masha Simiu Mwamuzi wakati siku ya leo ni Josephine Wanjiku ni ile ile wa 